Hey everyone, welcome back. Right, um, last video, uh, instead of the diner, uh, because I lost footage, um, still working on it, um, we did part one of the Vampire Hunters kit. And that's looking quite nice at the moment. So, I've uh, moved on a little bit, so I thought uh, we'll do part two. And uh, see if we can't get it finished. Uh, don't see why not, but uh, it may be another video, depends on this, <laughs> how long it takes to make this bit. So, let's see how far we've got, quick recap, and then we'll move on. That's all with. So there we are, and the centre support piece fitted in here. It's also attached to the front, again, so that section is now nice and strong. I'll, uh, I'll show you what I'm thinking of putting there once it's done. So there we are, that, that's nice and snug. It's a little bit tight, but not quite overly tight because I mean, it does lift out relatively easy, which is a lovely fit. Um, obviously, if, you're being, if it's being moved around, um, you don't want that rattling around inside. So that's gonna be a removable compartment, obviously. And the, the theory is, We'll fit some other bits in here. I haven't decided what yet. I've got some other bits that haven't arrived yet, so I really can't, well, make facilities for them. As soon as they arrive, we'll move on. There we go, look at that. Doesn't that look nice? It's like a piece of walnut wood. It isn't, but it looks like it, so that's a really nice touch, I think. And we can see addition of the corner sections. I hope you like that because I do. Right then, that's the recap done. Stakes are high on this one. Need to hammer this one home. No pun intended. Loads of pun intended. Next bit. <laughs> Right, so here we go with part two, and uh, this is where we got to, two so far, <laughs> whoops, sorry, so far on the last build. So I've, I've done some more, not a lot, so you can see the part that we did last time, all I've done is I've added some false bottoms, and I've, I've given a coat of paint really, that, that's it, although that took a lot longer than I expected to, to be honest. But there's no point in me painting the bottoms of these because we're going to do the same here as I did with the werewolf kit. Um, if you can't remember that, I'll put it on the end of the last video. I'll just show you a little bit now. Right here, then you can see the one we've been working on the bottom, and I've also made uh, this fella here. So this is a werewolf hunter's kit that I have created. Even a man who says his prayers by night may become a wolf when the wolf bane blossoms and the autumn moon is bright. That's true. There we go then. This is the second layer underneath of the Whale Hunter's kit. Now we're going to need candles, obviously, if you're going to be working at night. So everybody does. And of course, you're going to need somewhere to hold your, whoops, hold your candle. While you read your maps. Okay, back with this again. So here's the theory. Rather than cut holes in this and sink that into the bottom, because we've got plenty of height uh, on the upper level before it reaches the top of the box, is in theory to build boxes around these items. And that will raise it to a next level so you can sit there as it is, um, but all those pieces set into the piece board. And of course, there this is now higher than the the, the, the tallest piece that's going in. So um, the base level will sit quite comfortably on top of that. Okay, so here we are. And again, this, this is just a theory, it's probably gonna fall down now. <laughs> there we go. So that's how it will sit when it's inside the box. So of course, Plenty of room there, nothing's going to be touching anything. We've got a gap 
so nothing is touching anything it shouldn't or, or damaging anything so that's the theory so i'm going to move forward with that and uh, who knows <laughs> it could change right okay so um all i'm doing here is really mapping out uh, a theory of uh, where i'm going to put uh, the items that are going on the lower level um, so what I'm thinking is of course every vampire hunter needs a vampire hunter's handbook so that's probably going to go there um, possibly crucifix around there and of course something else a, a vampire hunter needs is a mirror so I'll probably put that around there this may change um, I also need to get some rosary beads, uh, in which case um, a pocket or a box of sorts here. Um, so that's the plan at the moment. <coughs> so we are going to figure out how I'm going to do it. Okay, so all I'm doing is obviously measuring these up. And cutting them off to size. I'm cutting them maybe a millimetre short because when it goes back in to the box I don't want it to cause any problems cutting on the sides. <coughs> so there we are, take that, that's lovely. So we'll get that glued in. line that up with the lines that I've drawn so it gives a nice even straight line there we go so just got to work out where everything else is going to go I'll pop those in and then we'll come back here we are then a um, short time later I've fitted all those parts in so now Quite comfortably, all the parts uh, I would have liked to go in will now fit beautifully. Superb, absolutely beautiful. So obviously, I've left a section over here because, as I say, I will need some rosary beads. So I'm not sure how to fit those yet. Um, I think what I might do is um, continue round these edges and actually just complete that. I mean, it looks fine as the way it is. Um, it's probably never going to be taken out of the bottom of the box, to be honest. Um, but it's me, <laughs> so I, I might just do that anyway. So there we go then. Um, these things take longer than you expect, to be honest. Um, clearly, uh, every single piece you put in it needs to be measured in both directions, checked for fit and obviously attached. But I feel better now, because we've got all these additional supports in so um, that's going to give more support to the other units sitting on the top of it so I'm happier with that um, I've still got to make a a facility for some rosary beads but they've not arrived yet so we're yes for now we'll crack on with that bit okay there we go so first round of black paint uh, as you can see it's still wet hence it being shiny um, but so obviously this is what's delaying the build on anything really when you're waiting for paint to dry literally watching paint dry so I'll wait for that we'll give it another coat and then we'll come back because of course in all these inlays here and somewhere along here uh, there will be red velvet inlays for obviously the book with cross the mirror and the rosary beads uh, and of course the glass jar here that will have um, garlic in it Right here, well I think the paint's drying quite nicely. So while we're doing that, I've gone ahead and cut out these pieces of card. Now these are just back of um, cardboard packets of like cereal boxes or, or whatever. <clears throat> okay, so this is what we're going to be using. It's nice, you can see that, nice bit of velvet. That's lovely. So. The idea is, we're going to 
port. The cardboard on here. And use that as a template. I'll cut that out and then we'll cut on the inside and that gives a nice velvet covered um, piece of board. Then we can glue that into the base and that should look amazing, I hope. Okay, so here's for a marker of some sort. Just allow a border so we can fold that in. <coughs> so we'll cut that out and get it glued on. Okay, so there we go. That's the first one done. So what we'll do is get this first section here and that just drops in there quite nicely. Be like that. So now I've got a nice flower pad for the book to sit on. They're all going to be done exactly the same way. Um, so we'll just cut around them, fold over the excess, glue them down, glue them in. So I'll get on with that, and then we'll come back. Next piece. makes it even more difficult when you're having to work so I don't get in the way of the camera but you get the drift clean that up and there you are next piece right here then sometime later as they say there we are, all the sections now covered. Now, for some reason, these look um, different colours, but they're actually not, they're the same. There's a bit of light catching it, there you go. Creases, all oh, the weight of the valve, is lying is the case, maybe. So I'm gonna pop that back in the box and see what it looks like. Right, you are then, famous last words. If all goes according to plan, they should just drop straight in. Well, it was a little tight. Oh, oh, so satisfying. Give me a quick sneaky peek, and there we are. So that's the bottom section. I'm not going to put anything in there. Some of this is still drying, um, still dry, still wet and drying. So we'll leave that uh, probably till tomorrow, and then we'll put it back together. There we go, just a quick look. I've just popped everything back where it's going to go, all nice and snuggly buggly. Um, that's what we can do, really. Oh, one second, I've forgotten my jaw. Just get that. Fortunately, I can reach it. There we go, that goes in there. So it's got to put the rosaries in here, and that can be that. Righty ho, here we are again, and of course. Um, after fitting the valve in, I've decided to make my life difficult and <laughs> I have put some wooden trims around all the openings and then obviously I'll put some stain on that and age up a little bit. Um, I did catch some black on here, I could repaint it, uh, but I think I was going to go around it with some wood anyway, so that won't be seen uh, and it will be um, weathered 
to cover that anyway. So I think it'll just add to it rather than just being in the way. Um, these sections here obviously are still to um, get some velvet in there. So it's getting there. Um, I'm just adding more headaches for myself really. <laughs> so uh, I'll let you know when I finish this bit. Righty ho, there we are then. So I've gone all around the side as you can see. On the inside of the openings as well as on the edges all the way around the box itself so I'm going to stop there because I'll just go on and on and we'll never get this finished so just going to wait for that to dry now then some weathering and obviously I've still got to put uh, the uh, velvet inside there then we'll pop it back in the box and see what we've got so there we go final look all the wood's now been fitted uh, and weathered all the way around the box. As I said, you know me, I like to create work, work for myself. It's all nicely finished. I say, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to put a label on this or not, possibly in this corner here or maybe down there, or I might just leave it as it is. Um, so if I do sight on, you know, you can put something in your own there. Um, I don't know, an emblem, uh, <laughs> a badge, a sticker, or whatever, and customise it to your own needs. So there you go. That's another project done and dusted. I appreciate all the time you spent watching me make this. It's been a trip, bit of a slog, isn't it? But we got there, and they're both done now. So that's that finished. Well, help my lovely ducks. Well, we've finally come to the end of that print, and that model that's actually complete now. Um, so there's the final weathering. It's all done and dusted. Uh, I may put, uh, I don't know, maybe a label on it, I'm not sure yet. But that's it. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. I may sell them on. Uh, let me know if you're interested in one of them. And uh, we'll take them there. But thanks for watching. Appreciate that. So many projects to come. We've got a whole new year ahead of us. Also get 2020 out of the way. That would be nice, wouldn't it? See you again soon. <laughs> thanks for watching. Thanks for your patience. As always, don't forget to subscribe. I love you all. Bye for now.